there, I'm Kea from Snorkel Planet. Today, we take a look at snorkeling in Key Largo. I cover the best snorkel beaches, reefs, and the marine life to expect. There are two beaches within the John Pennekamp Coral Reef State Park where visitors can snorkel directly off the beach. These two beaches are really the only choices besides going out on a boat. The park is surrounded by mangroves. There are different kinds of fish and other marine life to see. However, there is no coral off the beach. To see coral reefs, you need to go out on a boat. Dry Rocks is located seaward of White Banks within the Key Largo National Marine Sanctuary. It has two patches of shallow reefs that are perfect for snorkeling. It's pretty close to the shore, it has low currents, and it's sheltered from the wind. The water ranges from shallow to 15 feet deep. It's called Dry Rocks because the reefs come out of the water during low tide. Nearby, the underwater statue, Christ of the Abyss, is a huge attraction. Even though it's more suited for divers, snorkelers certainly can see it from above. Located one mile south of Dry Rocks, Grecian Rocks is another very popular spot for snorkeling in Key Largo. There's a shallow reef, although parts are up to 25 feet deep. Snorkelers enjoy seeing brightly colored tropical fish of all species, as well as brightly colored coral. Below, on the ocean floor, you'll find seagrass and queen conch shells. The main types of marine life are rays, sergeant major fish, parrotfish, goatfish, barracuda, blue heads, blue tang, and brain corals. Many people consider Molasses Reef to be among the most beautiful. It has a lot of variety with spur and groove coral formations. It's about six miles off the shore and sits on the edge of the barrier reef. The weather and ocean conditions must be calm to snorkel here. Snorkelers especially enjoy watching the sea turtles, in addition to parrotfish, eels, elkhorn coral, brain coral, and nurse sharks. It's further out, so there are larger species of fish, including Goliath grouper. This location has great visibility because the ocean currents continuously flush out the reef. Elbow Beach is a reef with an angular shape which gave it its name. It consists of spurs and grooves. The fingers of coral are distinct and have sandy passages between them. The spurs are long and remarkable to see. In addition to the wide variety of marine life, snorkelers enjoy seeing remains of a Civil War wreck. In 1866, a 752-ton steamer sank here, and the remains of two other wrecks are here as well. There are fingers of Elkhorn coral throughout the wreck, which makes it a beautiful thing to see. Snapper Ledge is another great location that gets its name from the numerous schools of yellowtail snapper swimming through the reef. It's a shallow reef. Fish species include moray eels, goatfish, rays, octopus, spider and arrow crabs, sea urchins, hawkfish, nurse sharks, lobster, corkscrew anemone, and numerous others. My last tip is to visit sea gardens. Snorkelers will observe beautiful and healthy soft coral on this reef. You'll find colorful sponges, finger coral, lobed star coral, and fans. There are fewer fish, but the coral makes up for it. Some of the tropical fish include parrotfish, yellowtail snapper, blueheads, trumpetfish, pufferfish, blue tangs, and angelfish. We cover the reefs and other snorkel spots in more detail on our website, and even where to snorkel directly off the beach. Feel free to visit us at snorkelplanet.com.